here we are in the village of Hinsdale, known to be one of the most desirable towns in the western suburbs to reside in. Here you'll find um, very historic homes, excellent schools, and a very vibrant town um, with a large amount of boutique shopping and a wide variety of dining experiences. Before I talk about the real estate market in Hinsdale, I'd like to introduce you to one of the owners and proprietors of an awesome new business here in town called Old Tumara Altinga Pizzeria. Um, and Carmela St. John, along with her sister Hortensia, are the owners of this business. And um, I have her here today sharing a little bit about Old Tumara. So I'd love for you to um, share with the folks kind of what, why you selected the name Old Tumara. Um, perhaps some of the food offerings that you have and why it's so unique. So there's a couple reasons why we chose the name Altamura. First of all, thanks for having me, Karen. Yes, sure. um, but um, Altamura is my dad's hometown. Um, it was my dad's hometown, and my sister and I lived there when we were children. Um, so it's, it's really the core of our family. Um, but also, they're famous for their bread um, because of the wheat. And um, um, each region in Italy, as everybody knows, or most people know, is known for um, different foods depending on the climate. Um, we're known for our wheat because of the soil and the water. Um, and it's that same wheat that makes the famous bread that they're known for. Um, and also now we have this pizza crust, um, of which is made from this uh, wheat. So um, it's uh, Durham semolina wheat, and it's naturally fortified. Um, and what that means is it comes from the soil with nutrients. So it's not white flour and empty calories, um, but it's also very delicious. There's a reason we're famous for it. Um, it's um, because the wheat is farmed there, um, because we get a pizza crust that's been hand tossed by Master Pizzaioli and par baked in stone ovens, flash frozen, and sent to us. People that have gluten sensitivity can actually eat our pizza. That in itself is very, very unique. It doesn't have all the toxins and the GMOs that most American wheat has. Um, and we have created from this pizza crust, um, for us it's a vessel um, that has beautiful recipes, um, uh, beautiful ingredients, um, and, and recipes that we have created, sorry about that, um, from our pesto that is homemade to our tomatoes that has, is our own family recipes, um, and different things that um, are unique to us. Um, so yeah, I mean, the name itself is, is very important to us and our family, and because it was my dad's hometown, um, and it's very significant. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's great. Um, so why did you choose Hinsdale to establish your business? So, um, as I said, Altamura is my hometown. Well, Hinsdale is my husband's hometown. Um, of which he's been very involved as well. Um, so he grew up here, he went to Hinsdale Central, graduated from there, um, and we've been living in Clarendon Hills for the last 15 years with our two boys, and they both um, attended Hinsdale Central. Um, so we know this area really well. Um, as you said earlier, it's beautiful, it's vibrant, it's unique, it's, the community is really uh, amazing. There's so much support here. Um, it's wonderful to work where you live. Because, um, like I said, the support is really um, invaluable. Plus, it's a well-traveled community, and so they get that we have some really special things here, um, from our pizza crust um, to our olive oils and vinegars to our pasta dishes um, and the homemade items that um, we have as well. Um, yeah. So, um, in addition to people coming into the store, uh, to the pizzeria, and purchasing things to take home and bake or um, to have a baked pizza when they come in. What are some of the other services that Altumara um, has to offer to the community? So, um, being a small business, it's been nice to be able to, in the last year, we've evolved a lot in listening to our customers um, based on what their needs and wants are. Um, to us, this is an extension of our home, and so we wouldn't do anything here that we wouldn't do in our own home, but we also um, like to accommodate everyone. Um, and so, from um, you know, people have asked us to. Um, 
can I have a grab and go to take home and make a meal that's not pizza? So we've created some sauces and pesto that you can take home and just toss in pastas. Um, we have um, soups now with the fall coming up, or heat that's here, I should say. Um, we also make baskets. Okay. So on, um, you know, for different events or um, gifts. Gifts, okay. exactly. Um, we've also made baskets for um, uh, different organizations of which we've given back to, like um, breast cancer awareness, you know, different fundraising events, um, we've donated baskets for, um, and um, Hinsdale um, Junior Women's League um, uh, scholarship um, opportunities, um, Ronald McDonald helps, that sort of thing. Um, and we're always open to do that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's great to give back to a community that gives us so much. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. So what's the real estate scoop in the town of Hinsdale? Both the number and sale price of homes have increased in 2018 over last year. The average sale price of single family homes in Hinsdale is just over 1.1 million October year to date, up slightly from 2017 year to date average. Overall, the number of homes for sale has increased 12% and for single family homes, 8% over this time last year, resulting in an expected seasonal and cyclical market time of 90 days. It's taking about nine months to go through inventory, which indicates an opportunity for buyers to select from a wide variety of homes to find their dream home in this vibrant historical town. Take a peek at this short video clip to get more details of market indicators in the town of Hinsdale. Welcome to November's market update. Let's take a look at residential real estate activity in your area during the month of October. The number of active listings was up 12% from one year earlier and down 5% from the previous month. Even so, buyers still enjoyed a greater selection of homes today than they did one year ago. As you can see, the median listing price for the month was just under $1.1 million. Compared to last year, the average number of days that units spent on the market before being sold was up 38%. This higher number of days may signal a slowdown in the local inventory turnover rate. The median sale price was just under $850,000. The number of units sold increased 35% year over year and decreased 7% month over month. Higher year over year figures indicate that more buyers have been finding what they're looking for. Thanks for watching. We hope you use this information to make smart, informed decisions in your upcoming real estate transactions. Thank you for tuning in today. Whether you're following my podcast on Facebook, SoundCloud, or YouTube, don't miss the next episode. Like or subscribe now to Real Estate Views with Karen Lynch. Tune in and find news and views that you can use. See you next time.